Investors searching for relatively low-risk investments that can easily be converted into cash often turn to certificates of deposits, or CDs. Leader Bank is currently offering an 18-month CD with an impressive 1.25% APY for new accounts. With these kinds of rates, now is an ideal time to take advantage of this great opportunity from Leader Bank. To learn more about the 18-month CD with a 1.25% APY, call 877 691 7900 today or visit one of Leader Bank's conveniently located branches in Arlington, Belmont, Cambridge, or Burlington. Earn more interest on your money today. Stop by a Leader Bank branch or call 877-691-7900 to learn more. Leader Bank, a step ahead minimum deposit to open and earn annual percentage yield is $1,000. Massachusetts residents only. Penalty for early withdrawal, including IRS penalty, which may reduce earnings. Rates subject to change without notice. Member FDIC. Rate effective November 4th, 2014. Boston Solar is a leader in providing solar energy solutions to residential homeowners and commercial property owners throughout New England. There has never been a better time to look into solar energy for your home or business. With continuously rising electric rates, solar now empowers homeowners to slash or eliminate their entire electric bill. Boston Solar has a free guide that will detail all of the benefits of unlocking the financial power in your home. Call 866 866- 698-9323 to receive a free guide on the benefits of solar energy. That's 866-698-9323. Boston Solar offers affordable solar solutions and can work with you to maximize all the federal and state tax incentives. Call Boston Solar today for the free guide on the benefits of solar energy. 866-698-9323. That number again is 866 866- Six nine eight nine three two three. Gallagher has the real estate market covered. This is Real Estate Matters with Bob Gallagher. Welcome back. You're tuned in to another exciting edition of Real Estate Matters here on the Money Matters Radio Network. I'm your host, Bob Gallagher, joined in studio today by Pete DeMore, my co-host. How you doing, Pete? Bob, doing wonderful. That's Beautiful good to day hear. out there. Good to hear. And joining us for the first segment, Dick Urado of Re- uh, ERA Key Realtors in Marlboro. How are you doing, Dick? I'm doing great. Thank you, Bob. So uh, we invited you here, Dick, to talk a little bit about um, the real estate market out in Fitchburg and Lemister and then how that compares out in the boroughs in the, the Hudson Marlboro area. How's, how's, it, uh, how's it doing out there? Well, one of the things I, I'll tell you real quick about Fitchburg and Lemister because I, I live out there is... Uh, I'm spending more time with my snowblower than my wife. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, it's the truth for all of us, although Pete doesn't actually mind that problem. No, not at all. I traded my wife for a snowblower. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even shut mine off anymore. I just leave it out in the, out in the driveway, and I yeah. think there's another storm coming. <laughs> yeah, that's very, very true. Has that affected real estate at all, Dick? It hasn't. You know, I've been very active this, uh, this winter. Um, I have a new construction going on. With Asher Custom Homes, uh, it's a builder I've, I've entertained there. He's out of New Hampshire, and he's just built a house in Fitchburg that mm-hmm. I'm uh, promoting. And uh, we've had a lot of activity with that. And uh, you'll find out that a lot of people, they, they see the difference in Fitchburg and Lemonster in price compared yeah. to, let's say, you're out in Marlboro or Hudson. And I always let them know that when you're out towards Route 2, out towards Fitchburg and Lemonster, the price of, a, let's say, a, a Colonial is going to be... Eighty to a hundred thousand dollars difference, which wow. is which is a big amount. And this yeah. home uh, was built by uh, Ben Olson of Asher, Asher, Asher Custom Homes. Is uh, those are the type of homes? Three bedrooms, um, two and a half, three baths, garage, wow. nineteen hundred square feet. So you're getting a house like that. That's for sale right now at two ninety nine. Oh wow. wow, that's a lot but, of house for two hundred ninety nine thousand. You know, and Pete, we were talking before. It has uh, granite countertops, granite front steps. Uh, Wow. You know, ex- excellent home, excellent neighborhood. And so you have a lot of young couples coming to me, your people that want to upsize, and they're saying, mm-hmm. wow, that's that's incredible price because they're looking at prices in Hudson and Marlboro where it might be, let's say, 360 390 Yeah. So and they, probably not new construction for that. Not that new either, construction. Yeah. Com- that's exactly right. So, you know, and a lot of these people, they're commuting maybe even to Boston. So you can catch Route 2. It's about an hour in. Mm-hmm. So we have a lot of executives out in those areas that, you know, they commute to Boston. So they're saying, well, I can buy a house, you know, for that type of money, you know, in the high twos, low threes, right. compared to high threes or low fours. 
and a lot of them it fits their budget. Yeah, you know, so it makes a, a huge difference for them. Yeah, there's a big there's a big savings, and of course the the project that you're talking about uh, for Asher Quality Homes, that's actually not too far off of Route Two either, is it? No, you're about maybe ten minutes off of Route Two. Uh, that's why when you get up towards Lemonster, which is almost on Route 2, mm-hmm. the prices are up another maybe $80,000 because it's closer to the highway. Once you get close to the highway, you're going to get that access, and, right. and, and that's when the price is going to go up a little. So the way people travel now, I know it's been tough with the snow, but mm-hmm. uh, people don't mind driving You know, if it's an hour in, an hour back. And most people are commuting, so they're, they're looking for quality. And my clients I see all the time, that's the biggest thing. They want a bang for their bucks. Yeah. And a lot of them are buying homes that, you know, if they can get new construction, they'd rather do that uh, because right. there's still homes out there, but the inventory is light. But better, we should point out, it's still light, but compared to this time last year, I'd say we've got substantially more inventory. I mean, this time last year, nobody wanted to, build, to put their house on the market. Exactly. Great point, Bob. Yeah. You know, what's happening is, uh, yeah, there is activity. A lot of people think when you get into the winter, everything is dead. Well, mm-hmm. no, there's still activity. You know, if you have a need and there's something you want to do out there, uh, there's opportunities. There's always opportunities in real estate. Um, you just have to be selective and, and get the right people to help you. Right. And I think psychology tends to have a have an effect I, I on it, I think that too. has a big play yeah. on it. Because yeah. last year, you know, the snow started in, I think, October, November, and just never stopped. And this year... You know, we're all thinking, you know, up until the third week of January, wow, we're not going to get any snow this yeah. year. Yeah. And I started getting calls from everybody saying, you know what, uh, all of a sudden I've got sellers calling that want to put their houses on the market. They figure, hey, spring's coming early this year. Let's get them on for uh, the end of January, beginning of February. And luckily, people are already in that mindset by the time we got four feet of snow a week later because people have decided, you know, let's sell. I mean, what's the point in waiting? Yeah, I send people out to see a house, and they'll call me. They're in front of the house, but they can't see the house because it's buried. Yeah. <laughs> so. And two weeks ago, we didn't have a flake on the ground. Absolutely. That does make things a little difficult to make a uh, a good business decision, doesn't it? It does. It yeah. does, but it seems like people are, you know, once you get that mindset of, I'm ready to sell, it doesn't matter that there's snow on the ground. It's right. You've already made the decision mentally. It's time to move on. That's right. You know, it's another example, too, is that if you're getting ready to sell, a lot of people say, well, I'm going to wait into, you know, April or May, and then I'll get my house. You can be doing that stuff right now. Right. You know, I mean, you're in the house, you're snowbound. Maybe it's time you can start looking. At, let's let's see. Maybe I can clean out my garage, and maybe I can start getting stuff arranged and get get myself ready. If you need to do some updates, you can do in, in, internal updates. Maybe uh, new cabinetry, maybe new rugs. Mm-hmm. Now is the time to do it because you can get that incredible jump for the spring market. Yeah. And a lot of people start realizing, wow, instead of just you know, like me, sitting around watching TV at night going, man, another snowstorm, <laughs> you can become proactive. Yeah. And uh, that's going to make a big difference because the spring market I see is going to be an exciting market because I can tell now the activity is still pretty good. Yeah. And and I just see with the rates the way they are, outstanding rates, you know that. Yeah, rates are on a 30-year fixed under 4%. I mean, high threes, nobody thought we'd be there. Last year, everybody was predicting we'd be pushing mid fives by this point. <laughs> yeah. And we, and the truth we, of the matter is, by this summer, we probably will be over 5% because it's not – the only reason I think any of us see the rates being this low is because of the mess going on with oil and the effect that it's having on the stock market. And once once Wall Street gets used to the low oil and decides, oh, this isn't such a bad thing after all, it's actually a great thing because now consumers have more money to spend and it's going to drive the economy, then you're going to see rates go up and they're going to go up fast. That's a great example. You know, it's funny. My wife called me the other day, like almost in a panic, and she said I had to get down to this certain this certain area near this church we go to. And I said, and she was like distraught almost. And I'm like, what's going on? She goes, it, it went under two dollars a gallon. Wow. So so I rushed down there, and, then, and I'm thinking, I must be the only crazy one out here. And there was a <laughs> line of cars, and I'm sitting there going, wow, I must be crazy because it's a buck ninety nine or whatever it was. And I'm like, fill it up. So yeah. pe- people are going to have that extra money. Where before, people were very selective, saying, you know, you're putting $60 to fill your car. Now you're putting in $20. Right. It makes a big difference. Yeah. So. Do you, I remember, what was it two years ago, maybe a little over two years ago, when we were paying four twenty a gallon. Four twenty. dollars it yeah. didn't look like it was going to stop. And now we're, mm-hmm. in most cases, I mean, yeah. even for premium, I think it's down to like two twenty, two twenty five, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. And you never put uh, fill it up at that point. Yeah. With, just, no. with that big huh. truck I drive uh, with a 24, 25 gallon tank. It used to shut it off at $100 because the credit card wouldn't take anymore. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, now now you fill enough for what? Fifty yeah. bucks? Oh, not even less, forty. Less dog. Yeah. yeah. In those days, they had loan offices at the pumps. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know you practically needed it. Yeah. But that's that. You know, going back to the point of of how much things have changed from a couple of years ago, I don't think that some of the economists realize how big of a boon this could be for the middle class. I mean, two an extra two or three hundred dollars a month cash in your pocket. That's a big difference. Absolutely, and people and people are getting out. You know, before no one drove, they would go to work, come home, park right. your car, and you weren't just taking trips all around the town. Right. Uh, so they have this more, this extra income, and that's going to help them either if they want to fix their homes up, or mm-hmm. they're looking to get out of renting and get into, you know, an equity position with a house. Right. It makes a, a great, great difference for these people, especially when people are on tight, tight budgets. Yeah. And people out there understand that they have families and. Uh, you know, pinching their pennies, you know, trying mm-hmm. to keep everything in line, not only with the fuel cost, but food and everything else. Right. And in, in some cases, it could have been gas that was part of the reason they couldn't afford to move up to a bigger home. I mean, $300 a month on a mortgage payment is a pretty big difference. Yeah. Big difference. Yeah. Uh, but it, 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 the gasoline is the tip of the iceberg. Uh, my oil uh, bill last year at this time, uh, we were paying $3.90 a gallon. I just filled up. It was two dollars and forty cents a gallon. Mm. It's nice, nice. Yeah, and then it'll also affect your electricity bill. Yeah, yeah. well, it should affect it. it. Should. We'll, we'll see when yeah. it actually starts coming down again. But uh, Dick, tell us a little bit about the team concept you have over there at, at Team Urado, because well, it's it's not just you that uh, the buyers and sellers are working with. Yeah, a lot of when I came into the business back in two thousand. Uh, a lot of times you were independent agents, you know, and you'd find an agent, they'd help you buy or they'd help you sell. And, you know, and then they would try to have to, where am I going to get, you know, who, uh, do you know a good accountant? Do you know a, a good uh, a home improvement specialist? Mm-hmm. And what I decided, because I came from the corporate world, and I, most of my career has been in the corporate world, um, I'm a big believer in, in team attitude, just like the Patriots. Right. Uh, to me, uh, individually, I always say we can do great things, but together we can all work miracles. So I decided right away... Uh, to have a, a excellence in service. And the way I was able to do that is to have Team Urado. And I have a host of professionals that I keep with me, whether they're accountants or attorneys or mortgage professionals. And you and I have worked many clients together, Absolutely. Bob, through Ross Mortgage. Uh, and it helps the client because it's a one-stop shopping. Yeah. So if they need something, they don't have to worry about it. And I have a, a internal crew of you know my secretaries and uh Everyone there working for the same cause of excellence and excellence in service. Right. And I want that. It's like when you go to a store, like let's say a Walmart or something, it's like that's where you want to just one-stop shop. You, right. You don't want to be jumping around. And uh, I found that when I do that, my buyers and my sellers, that they're able to concentrate and, and get to their dreams that they're looking to do mm-hmm. without the hassle of having to worry about all this other stuff that's going on. Because through the transaction, that's why you have – a realtor, you want that all handled. Right. And by doing that, I think it encompasses all these professionals at, you know, at a hand's length that can make a difference in the whole process. Right. So you get this excellence in service, you get the thing of, and basically what a seller wants is what they basically want is a, is the best price possible mm-hmm. and the quickest closing they can get. Right. And that's, that's what their, their mindset is. So you know, it's like uh, when you, I always tell people, when you go to a pizza place, and there's a lot of pizza places out there, but why do you go to a certain one? Because of the service, and the person absolutely cares. Mm-hmm. And that's my philosophy at uh, Urado Sells Homes is, is uh, I don't want you for the one transaction. I want you for a lifetime of transactions. Mm-hmm. And that makes a huge difference with my clientele. And everybody to me, and it's the way I treat them, is I treat them like family. And I think once you do that, then and you build the trust up, and they realize that their hopes and desires are the same as your hopes and de- desires. Mm-hmm. And once you're in that team concept, it makes an incredible difference to the process from going from the beginning stages all the way through closing. Right. It, you know, it's more when you work with Dick. It's more than just having uh, representation, whether you're buying or selling or doing both. It's uh, building a relationship with somebody who genuinely cares about helping you sell your house, get into the new one, find the place where your family is going to, uh, to live their lives. Because, you know, it's not just a home. It's, it's where life happens. That's right. It's memories. It it's, is. It's memories, and that's why it's so important to have a team around you of professionals. Uh, with Ross Mortgage, we've done so much together, Bob, you and I, because I always look for people that have the same premise 
and uh, the attributes that I have and encompass that into their lifestyle and their business. And that's a service beyond excellence. And once you have that mindset that the client uh, feels that, and when you become of that team attitude, uh, then everything is going to be a win-win for everybody. Because that's a big decision for home buyers oh, God, yeah. and sellers of that's the biggest transaction they're going to have in a lifetime. Yeah. You know, and, you know, whether it's first time home buying experience or you're a baby boomer looking to downsize and do something, you're a midsize where you maybe your family's growing like my daughter's and she needs more, probably within six months or a year a bigger house. Mm. We um, should probably do that now. I think she should. Caitlin, remember? <laughs> <laughs> a shout out to my daughter, Caitlin. Remember, Dad, I'm a realtor and I can help you. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget your loan officer, Bob Callagher. That's right. Excellent. Uh, and Dad, Dad, could you give me 40000 <laughs> <laughs> Of course. <laughs> so why don't we, uh, I want to give out your contact info, Dick. Uh, again, it's Team Murado Sells Homes, and you can get a hold of Dick or his team uh, at the following number, 978 978- 868-8621. Again, it's 978-868-8621. And I can't say enough about uh, about Dick and what he does for his customers. I mean, we've we've worked a lot of deals together. And, you know, everything from people buying their first homes uh, to buying million-dollar homes, and everyone is just as happy with the service they got uh, all the way through the process. So uh, I can speak from experience. So getting back to what's going on in the real estate market again, we talked a little bit about what's going on in uh, you know the central mass market as opposed to you know the 495 belt right now. Uh, are you see what are you seeing with land? I mean, the, we're, the concern we seem to have from everybody is there's not enough not enough houses out there and not enough land for builders to build. Is it any better out in central mass as opposed to you know Hudson Marlboro, or is it you've run into the same problems? Well, I think there's there's more land out towards the Route Two area because it's not as developed as 495. Right. When you get into the Marlboro Hudson area, uh, there is it's it's almost impossible to find lots. So if if you're a homeowner and you have some uh, extra acreage, you may want to consider that selling that lot, having it subdivided mm-hmm. because there are a host of builders out there looking for property and there are a lot of clientele that are looking to build new because in the old days the builders would find those lots mm-hmm. and they would buy them for let's say 20,000 or less and they would hold on to them for years almost like uh, they're investing right. and that would be their investment so today they're able to you know open up those lots and build homes on that but a new builder starting off He's going out, and he couldn't really afford that because those house lots are so expensive. Mm. And then what kind of house could he put on that? And so if he has to spend so much money on the house lot, then uh, he's going he's gonna to look at his return of investment. And that's why the young builders are having such a hard time. It's all about the price they're paying. So out towards Route 2, you have a lot more opportunities to find land. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's just a little farther out, but you have to be willing to you know, travel if you're going to have to travel to get into, let's say, uh, Boston or whatever, or Worcester. Right. Uh, but there's still opportunities. But I think out this way, land is being eaten up. And as you go out towards Framingham, gets even East, worse. You, you can't, you, there's nothing. Well, that's why, you know, teardowns are becoming so popular. And it used to be, you know, Wellesley and Newton where that was most prevalent. But now you're reading about it happening in, in Lexington and Burlington and a lot of these towns yeah. because they're so popular and everybody wants to be there. But there's nothing, you know, there's nothing left. Nowhere left to go. I, the only option is to buy something and tear it down. That's right. And we had a case in Marlboro recently where a builder did that. He bought a piece of property, tore down the house, mm-hmm. and built a beautiful house on that. Wow. Um, so, you know, we I have a lot of clients coming to me that, you know, they'd rather buy new. So, you know, we so, need the builders to out there. And uh, So if you, need a, if you need to buy or sell anywhere in Central Mass or Middlesex County on the 495 belt, you want to give Dick Urato a call at Team Urato. His number again is 978-868-8621. That's all for this segment. We'll be back with more Real Estate Matters after this. Are you ready? 